Hello everybody, Andrea Majeski here with Dental Well Tutoring. So this Sunday, we will be going through some community case study questions. Now, as a dental hygiene student, as a dental assisting student, nobody likes community. I don't like it either because it's not exciting, it is boring, but it is something that you have to know for the exam. But the good news is that I find for community, I hate to say it, so this could be good news, it could be bad news, but it's strictly memorizing. It's not something that you can understand, at least not for me, but it is something to make sure to look over because it will be on your board exam. I can't tell you how many questions because every exam seems to be different. When I took the board exam many, many years ago, thankfully I had maybe three questions, that was it, but lately they seem to be having a lot more. So if you would like a sneak peek inside of our session on Sunday, I will go through a few questions for you um, because if you are a Dental L member we go through case studies every single Sunday at um, 8 p.m. in the in the um, evening time so every single Sunday we go through case studies and our sessions are about an hour long so it's a good thing to be a part of and the time to ask questions too but let me give you guys a little sneak peek okay so I'm going to share my screen I'm not going to go through all of the questions of course because there's quite a few but I'll go through the first two so you have an idea um, and if you would like to see more let me know um, and you can become a member of um, Dental L anytime because we have sessions every single Sunday, so why not, right? Okay, so let's go through some case studies here. So um, congratulations, you have a new job as a public health dental professional. Yay, exciting. Um, you are um, formulating a case study that is asking what toothpaste brand patients prefer, Colgate or Crest? What are you uh, formulating? So this is the question. With community, you have to go through the question very carefully because yes, it looks like I'm asking you a couple things here, but what is the question asking? So just because in the question, there's many different parts, um, you have to think, well, what's the main question that they want the answer for? Now this one, I made it a little bit easier because the question's pretty obvious. So then you have to look at the answers and say, okay, is this question asking what the null hypothesis is or just simply the um, hypothesis? Is it asking about informed consent or is it asking about the research proposal? So um, take a minute, think about it, um, stop the video if you have to, and then let's go through the next one. So this question is specifically asking about the hypothesis because this is the question you are asking and that is the exact in fact i'll put that down here the question so meaning you're coming up with a question means you are looking at the hypothesis and i took it a step further and i did explain the other answers for you too so if you're looking at this thinking okay so what's a research proposal again well i'm telling you guys right here so that is the type of search used to obtain the info. So I do um, explain all of them here for you. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of them because I do actually have more questions within the case study for all of them. So I don't want to explain them too much yet. But the nice thing is that even if you're not able to attend us um, live, I put up the recording within about two hours so you can watch it anytime and as often as you like because community is something that you can't just simply study for at once you have to keep on going through it um, plus if you are um, a dental l member there's a few mock exams on community also so you will learn everything that you have to know for this okay so let's go through another question here so while um, doing your research for which toothpaste patients prefer, you have decided on randomized trials. You choosing randomized trials means what? So what does that mean? So you are looking at the type of, I guess, samples to pick from. So as soon as you have the question, um, which toothpaste patients prefer, you have to think, well, how am I going to research this? Who will I be picking to test out the toothpaste or to let me know which toothpaste they prefer? 
So that's the next step to think about it, right? So read through the answers, um, the same ones as the last one, and stop the video if you're not sure, because I will be talking about it next. So the answer is the research proposal. So the fact that um, you have picked the um, random sampling, this will determine how you choose the information. So does that make sense to everybody? If not, let me know. Um, and that's the nice thing too about being a member is if you guys have questions, I'm talking to you live so I can help you. So if you're saying, no, this question makes no sense to me, Andrea, can you stop and explain it a different way? Absolutely, because that is what I'm here for, right? So it pays to be a member. <laughs> okay, well, we will go through one more. So you prefer Colgate toothpaste. But it looks like 60% of the population uh, prefers Crest. Do you publish this? So the question's asking, so you aren't happy that the study shows that everybody prefers, or the majority um, prefers Crest, but you prefer Colgate. So you, so you don't really want to publish those results because people value your opinion. So you're thinking, well now, people will likely choose Crest, but that's not the toothpaste that you prefer. So do you publish this or not? So yes or no. So read through the answers, they're tricky. Stop the video if you're still thinking. So the answer is yes, always. So even if you don't like what the research has come up with, you need to publish it because you have paid, or somebody has, a lot of money to go through the research, to go through the testing, to go through the trials, and that's the whole point. So even if it's not something you, you like or the outcome isn't what you wanted, you still have to publish it. Okay. Um, okay, so does that make sense to everybody here? So there's a lot of questions. As I said, I'm not going to go through all of them because we have our session on Sunday. So there is still time to sign up if you'd like. Um, I'll post actually the link um, at the bottom of the video here. So um, have a look in the comments area and I will post the link and you can sign up anytime. And even if you sign up now, you will have, you will have full access to um, all of our um, case studies that we have had so far for this year and for last year. So you will have tons. So it's never too late to sign up but the earlier the better because then you have full access to everything live. So if you guys have questions on that, let me know. Um, I'll leave the link in the comment section if you like because we are doing community this Sunday and it's not horrible. I can't remember the session topics that we have coming up. I know we're talking about Crown and Bridge. Um, we're doing another oral pathology lecture, special needs. There's tons of them coming up. So we do a new topic every single Sunday. So let me know if you want in on this. I am so happy to help and I will see you guys um, very, very soon. See you later.